Hey guys, welcome back to the Mind of Cracker server. We're back in the spawn area, and it feels like I haven't left for a long time, like we've abandoned the Death Starter house. I'm hoping we'll have time to get back to that before we move into 1.7 and out into the new biomes. But I wanted, um, I wanted to focus on spawn while I could, because I feel like once 1.7 hits, people are going to spread out a little bit. Maybe what we should do is instead of just spreading outward in every direction, maybe we should take the nether hub and build a tunnel out to the new biomes and make like a little outpost. Not like a full spawn town like this, but maybe just something small where we can all still run into each other periodically. It might be a good idea so we don't get all spread out and never see each other again. And hopefully that will also help this place not become a ghost town. I've been doing a little work on the farm building, and today we're going to do the bottom level, or I guess the next level. I'm just going to say it's the bottom level, because uh, the way that this is stepping inwards, we're not going to have any room for a level beneath here, because um, when these step in this far, there would be, there's no space. So basically what I've done is I've spent some time hollowing out the areas here for, um, I guess initially it was going to be for the wheat. I'm thinking I'll put the uh, the carrots and the potatoes down here as well. What, oh, okay, this is wrong. One of the things I have yet to decide really is um, how I'm going to distinguish which is which. I mean, you can tell when they're full grown, but where am I going to plant each one? I haven't really decided. But since I've basically decided to do the same thing on this level as the level above, I knew exactly what to dig out. So that should be a little bit simpler. It's going to look essentially like this, except there will be dirt flush with these stairs. So you won't have to jump in here to, to harvest them. Kind of a different mechanic to harvesting them because you uh, don't want to leave anything in the dirt. Uh, so the dirt will be flush and the water will be behind there, hidden. Hopefully, yeah, that should be fine. Fine and dandy. Okay, don't kill my Z camera. We should probably... Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> um, one thing I have done, though, I've to vary from the pattern, is I've lowered this one block down. And so this sort of messed up the stairs. Now they're sort of poking out there, which I didn't really like. The other option I could think of um, is to do something like this, which sort of works because... Uh, the, what I want you to do when you come down the stairs, there's going to be a path here, and this is going to lead you into the farms. Hey, little butter, little butter, butter, little buddy. Uh, this right here is all going to be a pool. So, I mean, you could just swim across, but like the, uh, the flow of the path is going to come down here and in there. Similarly to where the, uh, the path comes down here, and you can go in here or in there. Uh, but I had to lower it one block because of the water droplets, the water drops. They were just gonna be too annoying. I, I thought about just leaving it and letting people kind of deal with them, but it was bugging me. It was bugging me. Okay, so this is what we have to do. Uh, step one, we have to come in and put stairs basically all along the edges where I've dug this out like that. And also the ceiling like that. Step two will be to replace these uh, these strips of stone around the edge, replace those with dirt and put source blocks behind them so that they can be properly irrigated. And uh, they only need to be every four blocks because, um, you know, that's just the way wheat works. The reeds up there were harder because you need a block of water next to each one. Um, but that should be easy. So step one, stairs, step two, dirt. Then we need to replace all of the blocks that are still natural stone or gravel or dirt or whatever. We need to replace all that with cobblestone. And we need to add in glowstone. Um, and then we need to plant things. So that's like five steps, right? Five steps. Stairs, dirt, water. Dirt and water, will have one step. It doesn't matter. We've got steps. Let's just get to work.
All right, that's all done. It's all been replaced. We have cobblestone along the walls, glowstone lighting, some errant farmland, and I had to reorganize the water a little bit from the way it was done upstairs because of the fact that the farmland isn't a full crop, and it uh, it doesn't take up the um, full blocks. So you could see the water underneath. I had to, for instance, here it was easy. I just pushed the water black, black, blah, blah. I pushed the water back one block farther. So one, two, three, and then four, and then water is the next block over, and then one, two, three. There must be a problem here. That must not be a source block, is what I'm guessing. Let's check on this guy. There's a block of water there. One, two, three, four, five. How did I miscalculate that? Is that the same way on the other side? We may have to have a visible, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There's a source block right there. Okay, well, um. Okay, for this one, looks like we are going to have to have some, f some uh, water visible, but that also means that I can close that up. So there's not a hole in the back of the canal because it's no longer necessary. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just gonna have to do it like that. Oh well. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty minor detail, and there's only two places like that on this level, uh, right there and right over here. Let's change this one. Give you a source block, refill my bucket, um, fill that up, and then put in some cobble. There we go. Okay, uh, we still have to do some things like add the cracked stone bricks there. We're going to work on the interior here and up there next episode. So for to now, I just want to, for to now, is that a word or phrase? I don't know. For right now... All I want to do is get the farm level sort of planted up. And we're not going to need cobblestone. We shouldn't need dirt. Oh, okay. That box is full. I need to find a different spot to put all this birch wood slab. Maybe I'll donate it to somebody. Maybe somebody wants some. And we don't need all the cobblestone, like I just said. So let's get rid of this stuff. Yeah, I think somebody may have snatched my glowstone. I had a decent amount of glowstone in here. And I can't find it. It's very possible I just um, I moved it <laughs> doing something or used it for something else and I just forgot. So first thing to do... No, no. I want that there, that there. Let's pick up these boxes. All of the carrots. And... Oh, I forgot that I put the, those there. All the carrots and the wheat and the potatoes are going to go down below. So that kind of frees up this upper level to do something a little different. We still have to find a spot for netherrack and cocoa beans and also, I guess, cactus since we dug them all up. Oh, there's water. Get rid of the water. Oh, no. Uh, we still need to find a spot for those. So this upper level may just end up being a roof. Or it might end up being stuff planted. I'm thinking now, though, that it's going to be a roof. Because I'm not sure if I want this to be open to the air up here. Let's pick up all this. Am I going to have enough inventory? Possibly just maybe. Let's... Snuff out the water first. Hey, the gym. Oh, no space. Hey, the gyms. No, I'm not going to have enough space. Um, let's get the carrots first, then. And break that. And I've already kind of started demolishing this upper level because I don't really like it. We're slowly going to rebuild it. Um, probably focus next episode on that into redesigning it to look more like all this stuff we've done underneath here. Um, let's see. I can probably drop off the poison taters. 
and those. Now, having dropped that off, will that free up enough inventory space to pick up the rest? I think so. Oh, there's just some dirt. All right, good. Now we can plant the stuff up. Okay, man, this farm project. Oh no, what happened here? Whoa, whoa, no, no, <laughs> what happened? Stop it. Crazy aqueducts. All right, so let's see. This, did I not just fix this? There's water right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, should be fine. Let's plant some stuff up, and then we need to put the chests in. So I'm going to plant everything up. And I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like finished. I was sort of thinking about putting some inverted stairs here. I'm not sure if that'll prevent the wheat from growing. Uh, stairs are like... Transparent, I think. I think it'd be okay. I wanted to maybe make the these hallways a little bit more enclosed, a little bit more claustrophobic. Um, I wanted basically, I wanted to make them feel a little bit more like this. This feels a little narrower because the reeds go all the way to the ceiling, and it's a little different down here. So I'm not sure if that will actually prevent them from growing or not, but I, I bone mealed everything just to get an idea for what it looks like. And I snagged some bones from the skeleton spawner. So we can dump all those in there in case anyone wants to grow things quickly. But yeah, it's basically done. We've got uh, wheat. And then here's some potatoes. And more wheat. And then around here, here's our where the carrots are. But I guess that does it for today. Next time, we're going to work on this detailing all of this and all that up there, bringing it in line with the new style of the, the ruined temple -y thingy. And we may, we may actually even start adding, like, plants into these things, little shrubberies and stuff, and vines along the walls to give it a, a nice aged feel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.